So we're frightened of the dad. To know that you're sending your children somewhere that's not safe cuts you in two. Claire Throssell never wanted her ex-husband to have contact with her sons. 12-year-old Jack and 9-year-old Paul had witnessed domestic abuse throughout their 16-year marriage. But the family courts granted him unsupervised access and on one visit he took both boys into the attic and started a fire which killed them. My eldest son, his opinions, his voice, his views was only heard on the landing in the flames cradled in a fireman's arms and he said to that fireman, my dad did this and he did it on purpose. That is the only time Jack's voice was heard. Claire says her sons should have been better protected. You go to the family court, you trust them that justice will be done. You trust that they make the right decision for the child. Only to hold your own child in your arms as they die. Under that very system. <laughs> this week, four women appealed family court decisions about the access given to abusive ex-partners. Three of them won their cases, but campaigners say more needs to be done to change the culture of awarding contact to parents with a history of domestic abuse. And this may end up in the Supreme Court. It's not really about how you apply the law, which, yes, absolutely says that if it's safe, of course, there should be contact between non-resident parents and their children. It's about an attitude that it doesn't matter what has happened, we're going to order contact anyway, so let's just get on with it. And that results in a real minimisation of the harm that domestic abuse causes. Claire is pleased judges now recognise things like coercive control, but says they must listen to families. The law has to change to protect our children. 30 children now have died at the hands of known perpetrators of domestic abuse and they deserved better. They had lives, they had futures and they were taken away because a court told the perpetrator they could. Claire misses her sons every single day and she says they would still be here if the law hadn't forced them to see their dad. Leila Hayes, 5 News.